Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going over the Bitcoin and XRP chart. Obviously today you're seeing XRP down 25%. Yesterday it was down another 20%. I'm going to be going over could have this been foreseen in the chart and what's likely to happen next along with Bitcoin. So I'm going to start here with Bitcoin and then we will move over to XRP. And I'll quickly uh, explain. I'm in an Ethereum short as well at the moment, but this is just a quick trade. Um, but yeah, I'm also short on ETH right now. Um, but yeah, looking at Bitcoin to start with and then the big one XRP. And uh, yeah, I must say, if you don't ask, you don't get uh, I'm replying to this comment of Daniel, why XRP went down? Can you make a video about it? It can be interesting. If you do not ask, you do not get. And here is your XRP video. Uh, following up from the video two days ago of along the Bitcoin dip. That was obviously trading off of the 22,000 swing failure pattern. Last night, we hit $24,000. So that was a great idea, obviously, to long the dip. And I'd like to start off here with how that really went, you know, really traded out. And we did in, in the end, we got a move up. We come down to the CC before we got that move back up. As you can see here, here's our swing fire pattern of the lows. We got our rise. Really simply, CC, remember this. Fibonacci from the low of the move up to the high of the move. And what you can see here is really, really nicely price coming back down into that CC before getting a very big bounce to the upside up to $24,000 last night now we've obviously seen a little bit of a retrace and what could potentially be a bear flag at the moment that's why i'm being a little bit careful um but i feel ETH is the better trade for me here uh but wait anyway we're getting a bit of a bear flag potentially uh before another drop to the downside uh levels i'd be aware of if we get the drop to the downside well really for me twenty three thousand dollars it still remains extremely pivotal uh for myself uh twenty three thousand dollars um <clears throat> Obviously, you can see here, I've got a, a really nice channel going on. Okay, so if we just move this, you can see the low of the channel, well respected. And look at the middle of the channel, okay? Resistance, 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 support, support, resistance, resistance. Okay, so if we're looking at this channel again, that is showing support at around $23,200. So I've got two levels of um, levels where I'd be interested in along, and that's really... 23,200, 23,000. I, I don't have anything preset there, so I don't have like anything waiting, but I'd like to monitor the reaction if and when we hit that level. Uh, for me, it could potentially give a long trade. Uh, alternatively, alternatively, because I, I do think you always have to be prepared with a, a scenario if, if we drop and a scenario for if, okay, wow, well, actually the bottom's already in today and we're, we're going to push up from here. I feel it's less likely. I'm totally honest with you. I feel it's less likely, but I'm going to be prepared for it nevertheless. And really, for me, that the, the, the way that I'd prefer to long this is actually with a bit of strength and getting above the channel. Of course, I'm going to be prepared for a swing failure pattern, but nevertheless, strength above $24,200, that for me is saying, okay, price is not going to come that back down to the middle of the channel. And actually, what we had seen here was an impulse down, impulse as you're tracing, and we're continuing up here. I'm under the impressions at the moment that that's not going to be the most likely scenario and we will get this flag before coming back down to at least test the middle of the channel. From here, do we get a bounce? Mm, possibly. That's why I want to That's why I want to wait for the reaction off of the middle of the channel. Um, so that for me is really simple on Bitcoin. Really simply, I've got a plan. I know what I want to see to long. Uh, if I don't get what I want to see, well, really simply, I can just stay in no position. That's uh, absolutely fine for me. Um, Ethereum, I'm trading at the moment. Ethereum, obviously, I'm in a short, but you can see this is this is heading down right now. I feel it's influenced almost by XRP. I am bullish on Ethereum. Let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm bullish on Ethereum, uh, but I just feel I can get a really nice long entry a little bit lower. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm cautious with ETH because I am actually pretty bullish on it. Um, but it's just like timing. It's it's timing the entry. You know, it's timing the entry is, is the, you know, the bit that you've got to be take that bit of care with. But moving over to XRP. So, XRP, what can we say? Could this drop have been foreseen? Uh, and uh, my honest opinion is yes. I want to refer you to a post that I made here on the uh, 9th of December. And the post was really simply saying to everybody, XRP looks like 2018 Bitcoin. What happened in 2018 for Bitcoin? If you can't remember, it formed a descending triangle before falling down heavily okay you 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 went to three thousand dollars obviously 
And so that for me, it just looked really similar. And then you look at XRP. And obviously we can say now that was a brilliant idea because you form these lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs onto the flat level of support. Okay. And you've broken down from it. I was envisioning this to break down. And honestly, I, I, I yeah, let's just, let's just continue. I could rant about XRP, but, <laughs> you know, basically then you've broken down from it and your support, support, support has got almost a test here. So you've gone support into resistance. And then from there, you've seen an extreme drop to the downside. Is that unusual? No, that is what one would expect. There's been nothing unusual from this chart. Um, I'm going to be, I am fully prepared for this, like th for this video to get a lot of dislikes. I'm fully prepared for that. And I honestly couldn't care less. Um, you know, people don't like it, but instead of saying what you want to hear, I'm going to just say what maybe you need to hear. And that is XRP. Um, it's just incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Okay. Uh, like I was saying yesterday, to everyone, I just don't understand the obsession with XRP. Just, just trade something else. Um, there has been no reason to long here. Yet yesterday, I even saw people trying to long this first drop here. It was down 20%. And it's just like, there's zero support here. You, you see this, how quick you went up. When you go up so quick, the, the support is non-existent, okay? So trying to long in the middle here is just, it's just like, you would not be longing here if it wasn't XRP. But I feel people are so obsessed with XRP. Like, it's some sort of magical coin that, if they're not long on it, they're going to miss like a, a thousand percent pump to the upside. And it's just like, it absolutely blows my mind. It really, really, really does. And what was even more, what was even more, I suppose, oh, just the way that it worked was inside of this. It was either here or it was here. I think it was on this move here. There was like an XRP airdrop. And it's just like, this is so totally designed for distribution. If you bought buying into the airdrop if you bought for an airdrop on xrp i think you need to take a really good look at yourself and think to just think what am i doing if you, that doesn't like scream distribution to you there's like an xrp airdrop in a descending triangle i mean i don't know this is obviously totally only looking at the charts i don't care about xrp getting sued i don't care about the airdrop i don't care about like these bits of news but all i'm saying is the technicals here we're like, okay, this is probably distribution, you know? Um, so all I'm saying is you've got to forget it's XRP, okay? For, forget it's XRP, forget it's Bitcoin, trade the chart, you know, trade the chart. Would you buy something that's down 27%? I mean, that, yes, I feel there's opportunities. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's probably an opportunity coming up. Um, but does that look like something that you really are interested in? If, if this was, if this was a asset called z r g you've never heard of it before would would you buy this you know just just put it like that would you buy this if this was some random thing you've never heard of in your life i th i think you're going to say no i mean who who would buy this chart you know who would buy this chart i i <clears throat> truly would st struggle to comprehend who would buy it uh to be honest with you <laughs> you know but because it's xrp and because it's had some bumps in the in the past people are just so totally obsessed with thinking i cannot sell because it's going to pump. And then when it pumps, you know, it did get 100%. You know, this was a 100% move. But guess what? People just got buy more, buy more, buy more. And they just dumped it all again. It's just like, you know, it's crazy. And there goes down ETH. That's 1,600. Nice. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, so that might have been that little bit of a flag. Let's come back here. Yeah, there you go. So you, you did get that move down from there. I, I was not expecting it to totally break up there. Um, we'll review Bitcoin in a second again. But yeah, coming back to... Uh, coming back to XRP, what, what we can say is, um, yeah, really simply, I, I you know, I have, <laughs> I can proudly say that I've helped a lot of people in the group of <clears throat> getting rid of their bias towards XRP. You know, obviously, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do, but I've, I know that people have sold their XRP bags because of my, uh, I need to cough. Because of my, uh, what can I say, uh, views towards it. And this was obviously, I'm talking about, you know, a year or more ago. And, uh, you know, I've probably saved them literally thousands, <laughs> thousands of dollars from just not holding on to the coin. Um, but yeah, my view on, so, so basically to answer the guy's question, um, Daniel, why XRP went down? 
my honest opinion of why XRP went down is because the chart was bearish. Okay, you had a descending triangle, it broke to the downside, it retested support as resistance, and you dropped down again. Why did it drop down so quick? Well, this rose so quick, it creates very little support. So you go down really quickly. Was this sped up by the SEC, um, you know, announcement? Of course, you know, I'm not going to deny that. But nevertheless, I think XRP was going to go down anyway. It's just it's went down in a in a quicker fashion than what it would have should that news not have come out, you know. Um, so I, 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 I suppose my final and I, I, I try and be mean to be nice. I'm just going to say what I think. I don't really care if you like it or not why are you so obsessed with xrp and this is a this is speaking to the people that are bag holding xrp what why you know why are you so obsessed with this coin um why are you putting it on such a pedestal when time and time and time and time again you're just getting dumped on by by xrp literally um you know can this coin pump you know obviously it can pump you know i'm not i'm not going to sit here and say xrp cannot pump because obviously it can but what i'm saying is when you get moves to the upside oh great you can jump in on some of these quick moves but when you start to form bearish patterns when you start to form like distribution patterns and generally i'd be thinking yeah this is probably going to fake out but when it's like literally a mimic of 2018 bitcoin when it's xrp you know it's probably not going to fake out so you had a really nice descending triangle you got that you got the drop you got the retest i mean if you're continuing to buy the dip buy the dip buy the dip and you know even if you bought the dip two days ago and you're down 40 percent, that's got to hurt that has got to hurt um whether you whether you can admit it or not i imagine that's really painful um and i just feel why why do you need to go through that pain you, you don't the answer is you don't need to go through that pain you just need to unattach yourself from these coins and the same goes for bitcoin honestly the same goes for bitcoin you need to unattach yourself from it you know don't put these coins on a pedestal don't put bitcoin on a pedestal just trade the chart trade it up trade it down you know you, you're here i imagine even if you're an investor you invest to make money you trade to make money if you if you become personally attached to your investment <laughs> you know it just doesn't work you cannot get emotionally attached to investments you gotta you gotta uh well i i you obviously you know my opinion on on cryptocurrency in general it's all technically driven so if you're an investor you're kind of almost a sucker because you cannot really invest <laughs> in the cryptocurrency market because you don't even have earnings reports you don't know how much money these companies are making so you're you're basically trading the charts whether you like it or not you're trading the charts and when the charts are really bearish and you're still holding on to your investment it's like wow this this um this is a really newbie person i would imagine um but yeah <clears throat> that's my thoughts on on xrp uh I'll, you know area of interest i suppose if you can come back and reclaim this okay so if you come back and reclaim into here yeah equals a, it equals a fairly good long i would have thought you know if you come back into here you know then yeah you've you've got you've done a really big fake out of the low and then you have a <clears throat> excuse me oh my Oh, excuse me i'm really really sorry about that uh, but all i want to say is yeah then you would have a technical reason for a long you would have a technical reason for a long but you don't have a technical reason for a long while it's dropping like this i mean even on the five minute chart you just what, what you don't you don't have any reason to long this do you you know even if you long this morning and you know many people would have longed that swing fire pan and they're down another 15 percent. i mean you have to think to yourself um rather than trying to knife catch knife catch knife catch let's just wait for a trend change you know let's just wait for this even here i can just see it's going low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low i mean is that something you really want to be buying i would say no i would say at least wait for this to go a high higher low higher high higher low and come back into this region again then what you have is a trend change that's when you have a stop loss that's when you have you know you can start to make some targets but at the very least, I mean, where, you know, it's funny that I'm saying this. It's still dumping. When you're buying this right now, where's your stop loss? You know, where, where, where's your stop loss going to be? I mean, the only thing you could really think of is, is the wick down here. And that, that's another 103, you know, it's just crazy. You're not going to be placing it. That's obviously minus. I'm not sure how it's got to here. But, <clears throat> um, you know, your stop loss is so far away now. You cannot really trade it. So you've got to wait for a trend change, and that's when you can get an invalidation. That's when you can get a stop loss. You know, that's when things can start looking a little bit better for you, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thought process on Bitcoin. 
Okay, I'm looking at this currently as a flag that's going to come down at least to the middle of the channel. That's my thought process on XRP. I think, yes, this was absolutely foreseen. Uh, and I think XRP has looked bad for a while now. Uh, I, I like Ethereum. I'm interested in actually buying ETH, but um, I'm going to wait for a bit of a reversal. At the moment, I'm short, but I'm definitely interested in switching this into a long position. I just need to see a bit of strength. Bitcoin as well. I'm interested again in a long but I need to see a bit of a retracement first or reclaim of resistance. But I just don't, don't feel like longing this at the moment uh, because I feel I can get a lower entry. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on the cryptocurrency market. Uh, not often I get something wrong. <laughs> so, you know, just to be honest with you, it's not often I get something wrong. Um, we got the dip. We got the we got the rise. Now we're up again at the highs. Um, looking for middle of the channel. Let's see if we get it, ladies and gentlemen um is there anything else that i want to add yes there is something else that i want to add and that is in tonight's contenders live stream obviously we do contenders live stream every wednesday champions live stream every sunday i'm going to be working over christmas and in tonight's uh, christmas and new year <laughs> because i love the charts i've got honestly i've just not got, not got anything better to do um in tonight's contenders live stream i'm going to be going over an elliott wave count on bitcoin so if you're interested in that that's what i'll be doing in tonight's contenders live stream um so obviously yeah that that's tonight if you're interested let's see if we can swing fire pattern any of these lows we could potentially get a reversal i kind of want to go back and trade this uh but yeah hope you've enjoyed this video um and just have a great day have a great weekend i suppose probably be my last public update before christmas so have a brilliant christmas everybody i'll do the public live stream for the giveaway uh maybe between christmas and new year in that week period um so yeah trying to swing fire pattern this low. Hope you've had a brilliant day and cheers everybody. Thank you and goodbye.